Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to Wax Beginner Guides, where we're going to go ahead and do an updated version for the Alcor Exchange, where we're going to specifically talk about the liquidity pools. Last week I did a full video on what we're talking about here and what it all means, but in a short version of it, Alcor has come out with a version 2.0 of their liquidity. It's called Concentrated Liquidity. It's supposed to be a whole lot more efficient and a whole lot more stable than the previous version of it. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to uh, put funds into a liquidity pool, take them out, and just the overall how-to of that new version. Um, before we jump into it, though, I want to go ahead and do the normal disclaimer because we're talking about exchanges and liquidities and, and financial stuff. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump into anything, especially liquidity pools. Just because I state one or two pools in this video does not mean that they're the best option out there. Make sure you do their own research. Find one that's best for you. I'm only doing two here that, as examples uh, because I have the, the funds. Uh, the, basically, I have the tokens. That's why I'm using them as, as the example for this one. So make sure that you find the best liquidity pools for you. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump in there. I'll have a link in the description down below to uh, the Alcor Exchange, especially the WAX version of it. Um, just in case you don't have it available. Uh, if you're not familiar with what Alcor is, it is one of the two primary exchanges on the WAX blockchain. They do do other uh, blockchains also like EOS, but I primarily and really only use it for WAX because that's my main focus. Uh, so that's what we're going to focus on today is the WAX version of it, but it's similar with all the blockchains. All right, when you come here for the first time, uh, this is the screen that you're going to see. And the big things that have changed is really up here. Uh, swap is slightly different, so we're only going to spend about 10 seconds on that. Uh, but we're really going to focus here on the pool. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in there. Uh, now, because they have done the update, uh, it went back to the default view, just in case you're not familiar with it. Uh, some of you may be used to seeing it this way, where there's a graph here that shows the different time frames. Uh, so all you have to do is check this little box at the top. I did want to note that just in case uh, you're a little confused by the, the default that you've been, <laughs> you've had it this way for, for years and never had to switch it back. So what this is, is it's essentially going to be this pool. It's going to show you uh, the graph that's on there. You can do the seven day, you can do the one day, you can do the 30 day. Uh, the, so those are all available. It does take a, a few seconds for it to refresh. Uh, but what we're, we're going to focus on today is really the, the liquidity pool. If you go ahead and click on it there, or you can click on it here at the top. This is the new look that's there. Uh, it's a whole lot easier to use, in my opinion. Uh, previously, for the swap, there used to be three tabs here. There used to be the swap, there used to be the add to liquidity, and then there used to be the remove from liquidity. Now it's just all under one tab when you jump over here. It makes it a whole lot easier. And it defaults to the one, your basically my positions. As you can see, I already put one in here. It's, I'm using it as an example to show you what's in. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and dive into how to add one and how to remove one. So when you see one that's in there, you've already funded it. Uh, you see the, the combination that's here. You see the range. And I'll get to the range here in a second. You see how much I put in there. Uh, you see the fees that I'm expected, or essentially this is the unclaimed fees. Uh, and the total value. I like the I like the addition of the total value there, plus uh, the your basically your gains and losses. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enter one. Uh, in order to find a new one, you go ahead and click on new position, and then you go ahead and select the tokens. Wax is by default, and then your second token. What we're going to do is FGL. Uh, again, I have the tokens there available to go ahead and do this. Um, and then you're going to see this is a brand new screen. This is what the concentrated liquidity is all about. Instead of going with the normal infinite range from zero all the way to infinity, uh, which again is a lot less efficient and a lot less stable, you now have the brackets. You have your minimum and you have your maximum value. It defaults to this here, which is uh, minus 50 from the price and above 90% for the price. You can adjust it to however you want. If you want 5% on both sides, you want 30% on both sides, or vice or any other option, you can actually go ahead and click on here and drag it to wherever you want it to go. Uh, let's go ahead and just again, this is just example purposes. Go ahead and put 96. You see the different fee the fee tiers that are available. Uh, you can go ahead and click between the different ones if you want to. Uh, 
basically right now, since it is fairly new, 100% is at the middle there. Um, I think over time, you'll start seeing a bigger split between the two of those. On the bottom here, you have the tokens uh, that you're going to go ahead and match at the top here uh, and the funds that you currently have. Uh, you can go ahead and type in specific amounts if you want to, or you can click on the balance, which will go ahead and give you everything that you have in there. You see uh, the one thing that you have to be careful, uh, I selected the wax there, which gives me 143, and it gives you the matching value of the second token to that, which I don't have enough. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click on this one, which gives me the, the correct amount. I have, I have enough FGL, I have enough wax. If you do it the other way where you don't have enough, you can go ahead and click, it's going to give you an error. So if you do see an error, just go back and double check your, your balance numbers to make sure that they match up. Over here again is the range. We're just going to use the default range that popped up here. Um, I encourage you to test it out. This is They've done a lot of internal tests, uh, but as far as the public, uh, this is very new. This is uh, a week and a half, if that old. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see the prices down here. This is the min, this is the max. And once you're satisfied with everything that you're going to go ahead and put in there, uh, you can go ahead. Um, oh, one more thing. This is, shows the estimated. This is what a lot of people are, are mostly interested in um, is the estimated fees that you're going to earn every 24 hours, which is going to be roughly two cents. Again, I'm not putting a lot in. Uh, and then it shows the actual share, my, my amount of share that I have for this, which is 7%. That seems, seems a bit large uh, for such a small, uh, uh, jumping in such a small range. Um, so we'll go ahead and add the liquidity. It's going to obviously go through the transaction process, make sure I authenticate. Um, so we'll go ahead and give it a second to authenticate. And once it's in there, you're now going to see it on the my positions. As you can see, I have the, the Wax Wombat one that I had at the beginning of this video. And then I have the new one here, uh, which is the one we, we just walked through putting it in there. Now, if you want to take a look at it, you can go ahead to manage. And you're going to see the same range that you talked about and that uh, we talked about before. And you can't adjust it here. You actually have to pull it out and put it back in if you want to go ahead and adjust it. But it shows your current position, the value on each side of the wax and the FGL and the actual dollar amount, which I do like. Uh, it shows your PL, um, it shows your, your uh, pool share. This is basically how much of the pool that I own, my estimated fees. This is where I would go ahead and claim. Uh, the unclaimed is down here. It's going to show you it's going to go up throughout the next uh, day or so. And then whenever I want to go ahead and claim it, I just click on claim fees. And then if I want to go ahead and withdraw, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and do, but remember before you withdraw any amount, always claim your fees. Even though there's probably nothing in here, always claim your fees just to make sure that you don't miss out on anything. Uh, and when you go ahead and withdraw, you can go ahead and do like 20 seven, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can go ahead and do the full 100%, which we're going to do just to, again, example purposes here. Um, so let's go ahead and remove. And then we will go ahead and see it removed from the my positions. It takes a second, uh, but the, this will eventually remove. There we go. And now we have the, the wax and wombat is the only position that I have available right now. So that's as simple as it works on the wax and uh, wombat, similar situation. I got the fees. You can actually see it started calculating. I put this in a little bit before just to get something to calculate for the example. And I'll go ahead and click on claim fees. It's going to go through the transaction. And then we'll go ahead and see. Uh, you'll see it change. It took a second. <laughs> uh, we saw it got removed as far as I earned a teeny fraction of a wax. Uh, but I still have that and I still have uh, still half a share in here. Uh, so it's, it's a good amount of uh, detail that they have there now. It's a whole lot easier to use, a whole lot easier to bounce back and forth between swap and this. Um, there are some kinks. They're still working out some some issues. The, the one thing that, that you should be aware of, what you used to be able to do if you clicked on the, the, the select token, um, it would automatically uh, calculate it or put the list in there, your max or your highest amount of tokens with wax on top. Uh, all the way down. Now it does not filter it that way, but I'm sh I'm assuming that's just going to be adjusted here shortly. But that's how you use the liquidity pool for Alcor. Please, in the comments down below, let me know if you have any questions about this. I'm happy to get an answer for you. Also, let me know if there's any other Wax Beginner Guides that you'd like me to include in this series that we have going on. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.